Hey guys, what is up the new cubist here? Welcome to my all-inclusive farm top house. It's got a mine, it's got a farm, it's got enchanting, brewing, literally everything you could need to live minus another portal, although you could add that in your mine. So as you can see on the outside, it has a nice farm top, which you can walk, collect your crops, and then hop inside and place them in your interior. So yeah, we've got a really cool interior here. It definitely works out very well. It's very spacious. It's got a nice carpeting. We've got some brewing right there. We've got a double bed, which is, you can call it a two-player house if you wanted to. Nice little crafting table uh, facade thingy here. It just looks nice. And then down here we have our enchanting table. And then over here we have access to our mine. But yeah, if you guys want to see how to build this block by block, step by step, I show you how to build every single thing you see here. So yeah, stick around for the tutorial. Let's get started. Alright, so for your farmhouse, you're going to need to find the materials found on my hall bar below. Optionally, I chose to use spruce trapdoors and black stained glass, although normal glass panes and normal trapdoors will work. I think that these look the best on the build. You want to start off by placing a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blocks of dirt, and then making it too wide. Then you're going to go up one diagonally, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to repeat this until you have three rows of these two long, like this. So you should end up with something like this. And uh, the next step is actually going to be building a row of three up top. So we're going to do that, two, three, just like this. They should all be the same in length, so seven blocks. And you're going to mirror that exact same pattern just going down. So start off with the row of two, that's seven, just like this. And then go down one. And then to finish it off, place that row of two on the ground right here. And you're going to end up with your basic structure. Cool. See, this build is honestly really cool because, it, I don't know, a farm is just, I don't know, I think it's really cool. Alright, so the next step is going to be taking your spruce trap doors, and we're just going to go ahead and line the outside of this area. So, to get up and down from your farm, yes, you could jump from the side, however, you might break your crops, so don't do that. I actually have the solution for you. Leave this middle block out right there, and continue placing your slabs. You also want to leave the middle block out on the other side as well. So, you may be wondering, Neo, where are you going to put water on this? How are crops going to grow? Well, I've got you covered in a bit. Once we get to the inside, I'll show you how. Pretty simple to do, and uh, definitely an integral part of this build we can't forget, but all I did was place slabs right here, and then just so it matched, I put one up here, although it's not necessary, so if you don't want to place it just because you don't care about how good it looks, I mean, you may you may think it looks fine without it, but it looks a little better. I just thought it looked weird when it was not connected. Me personally, just an opinion. Okay, so the next step is actually going to be building the walls. So on this back side here, I'm going to choose to make this my front, so I'm going to go on the back real quick, and I need to also reduce my render distance. I'm so sorry, we didn't get the perfect 60 FPS that you're so used to, but uh, essentially the walls are really easy, right? They're really not hard at all, and you're also going to want to break out all these blocks right here, and then you're going to want to do the same thing on the other side, and you're going to want to fill them in with slabs. So I know that seems a little bit weird, but once we get to the inside, it will make sense. And uh, we're going to fill in this with black stained glass in a moment. Although for now, I'm just going to fill this in with more planks and then with the glass. Just uh, something like this should be perfect. So we're going to go to the front now and build the entrance. And uh, I actually forgot one thing. You want to take trapdoors and you want to just bring them down like that. Okay, now let's get to the entrance. All right, so the, for the entrance, it's going to be similar to the front or uh, back of the build, whatever you want to call it. Although it's going to be a little different inherently just because it's not the same. But uh, all you have to do that's different is place these two blocks right here. And then you're going to want to place a door from the inside, just like that. And then right here is going to be where the only real windows are because you can't fit too many windows here just because of how we have the door set up going. But uh, the next step is actually going to be coming out front and placing that, I know that's so loud, placing that row of slabs in the same area. I know you see that green wool, that was just there for marking so I'll be sure to remove that at some point. But uh, now we just add two oak vents on each side of the door and then three slabs on top and you got your entrance done. Alright, so stepping inside the base, you may be saying, well, this is not a very big area, and you're right. So we're going to dig it down one, two, three blocks like this throughout the entire build. So the edge is going to be this block right here, and you just want to dig out these three blocks on uh, well, inside the entire base. So pretty easy to do, although I'm not going to show it because it's going to take a while. But all you do is just dig out three blocks, and then I'll just show you the bounds of where to dig out, I guess. And uh, hopefully you don't have a secret water thing under there. Although if you do, you know, you can add it to your base. But wherever you're building it, it's going to be a little different. So you're not going to have that. I'm not really sure what it is. I guess just a little, uh, little underground pool of water. So let's go ahead and fill that in real quick so it's not bothering us. Okay. And then just like that. And then 
just, uh, uh, you know what? I said I was gonna cut it because it takes too long, but I already dug the outside out. Well, you know what? I stopped talking, I went ahead and did it anyways. So, right here on this layer, we're actually going to fill in all of these with uh, oak wood planks, just like this. Now, a few of these things are gonna be modified just to fit some more stuff in here, although for now, that's gonna be how it's gonna look. So you may be wondering, we got a dirt roof. Well, we're not gonna have a dirt roof forever, I promise. We're gonna put stairs right here, then slabs. Then we're going to do stairs. Essentially, whenever it changes in elevation, you just put stairs and then you put slabs in between. And then same goes for the top, so slabs. And then change in elevation, and you got stairs, stairs, just like that, and then fill everything in with slabs. So your roof is gonna look completely normal. Uh, the only difference being that you're gonna be able to fit water in this, which is nice. Now the water actually goes under these slabs, okay? So we may have to break all the slabs and just put the water here, but I'll explain in a second how we're gonna prevent, oh, see I messed up, because you can put water now inside of a half slab or something like that. I'm not really sure why, I feel like that's that's a bug, but at the same time, I guess it's the new water physics, so whatever. But uh, we're gonna do that same thing. You just wanna make sure you place it on the side, otherwise it's gonna go in the slab, which, you know, I mean, it makes sense, kinda. But uh, your water's gonna be covered by this slab, although on the inside, it's going to drip. But we actually have a really cool solution for you here. We being me, but I do have a solution for you. We're gonna come inside, we're gonna take crafting tables, believe it or not, and we're also going to take a little bit of spruce. I'm gonna take spruce planks, although you don't need, or spruce slabs, you're not gonna need spruce slabs explicitly, although you can use whatever kind of wood you want, but something to accent it just to prevent these drips, right? So I put a crafting, to ooh, sorry. I put a craft tool right under where it drips, right? So like right here, and then in the middle, it does the same thing, and then it drips like, I think right here, yeah, and then it drips right here. And all I did was just put some uh, some slabs on the bottom of these, some spruce slabs. And I don't know, I thought it looked pretty neat, like having your crafting tables in the ceiling. Usually they're on the floor, but you can look up anywhere in the build and just sort of craft stuff, which is kind of nice. So let's build the entrance, right? Because there's no way to get in and out at the moment. So all I'm going to do is build a staircase right here. I'm going to put some upside down stairs below it. And that's going to be how you get up and down from your door. Pretty cool. Okay, now I may have lied to you guys a little bit. These blocks right here are not going to be planks, so I am sorry if you had already built that, but we're actually going to be using stairs here. Upside down stairs, to be in fact. Now, um, there are a few things here that we need to change as far as the outside, outside goes. Uh, we don't actually need to change anything. I'm not sure why I said the word change, but we're definitely going to need a little something, okay? It's called a farm. So, you want to take something to till your soil, uh, whatever crop you choose to plant is up to you, although I think wheat just looks the best, like aesthetically, so I chose to just do all wheat, but you just want to plant your wheat on top of your house, and you're going to end up with a farm, so I'm going to do that real quick, that's essentially how you do it, and then you just plant it, not very hard, but if you needed help with that, that's how you do it, just make a hoe, till it, grab some, uh, break some grass like this, and eventually you'll get enough seeds. And there we go. Now you got your farmhouse all planted and looking nice. So while you're building it, if you just want to do that first after you get the water situated, it's going to make your life a little bit better. So we're actually going to come in here and we're going to change another thing. I'm so sorry to do this. This is supposed to be slabs right here. Now I know you're probably angry with me. You're like, Neo, why do you keep changing it? And to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure. I actually do know why. But these walls right here, the reason we added these slabs right here is so that we could break this area back. So you want to just go ahead and do that here. It's going to give you a little bit more room to work with on the inside as far as like chest storage goes and whatnot. But on the ends here, you also want to cap these off. Also want to do the same thing right here. And uh, after that, we're going to get on to building the floor in here, the walls. Everything's going to come together, and then we'll get to the actual interior goodies. So make sure you cap off those. So the first step is going to be doing cobblestone walls, right? So anything that's dirt, change it into uh, cobblestone on the sides, at least. Now the floor is going to be stone brick. However, you may choose to do something different, and that really is fine. You can't break this block right here, so don't don't be trying to break it because you can't. So so do, don't break it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a uh, I'm gonna take a stair here, right? A stair, and we're just going to place it along this instead of these slabs just because I think that it will be a little bit easier for us to fit stuff in if we put stairs here 
and I think we need to do the same thing over on the other side as well. But now that we have stairs here, we can break out these stairs that we have, and then we can put slabs back on this side as well. I think that's what happened on the other build. I did slabs too, and then I changed it on one side but forgot to on the other. So I know it's confusing, so it's going to be slabs here, and then all along this, which we had broken out, we're going to use stairs. It's going to look the exact same from above, so don't worry about the looks, but it's just going to also be a little bit easier because we can't break that third block, so it'll look a little bit weird if we don't get it but uh, continue placing the cobblestone on all the walls and then in a second here I'll get to uh, actually getting the stone brick so that's not a block we have to worry about some of these blocks you know, you're like scared to break them because you don't know if they're gonna lead to the outside world which is so terrible so so terrible but uh, yeah if you guys are enjoying this tutorial so far if you wouldn't mind scrolling down or uh, sliding down a little bit and leaving me a like that would really help my channel out so if you just want to pause it and help me out on this video that'd be really cool if we could get 500 likes for a house like this I'd, I'd really appreciate it that would be really awesome 500 maybe too many can we get 400 likes for this farmhouse but uh, I promise if you scroll down tap down you're not missing anything I'm just putting stone brick on the floor of the build but if you want to come back up now I'm uh, yeah I'm just putting stone brick on the floor I'll probably cut this the rest of this out, but all you do is put stone brick on the floor. So you guys don't need to see that anyways. Watch, I can do a cool transition to it. Watch. Check that out. You just spin really hard and everything's gonna work out. So now we have the house, the base of the house built at least. And uh, I think it's time to get on to the actual interior stuff. So I do know for a fact that when you walk in the door from this way, so to the right of your staircase, there's gonna be a little bit of a it's it's something guys it's something so we're gonna break out these blocks right here we're gonna take some fence made of spruce and uh, we're just gonna line the side of this just like that just like that so it seems like it's gonna take up a lot of your space but pro I promise th this interior is actually really really big so I said it had a built-in mine in the beginning and this is where I chose to put it personally uh, you don't have to put it here of course but if you want to put it here uh, I'm all for it obviously I this is where I'm putting it but if you don't want to I mean that's fine it's really not a big deal wherever you want it wherever is gonna make you happiest you go ahead and put your staircase okay so all we're gonna do is just go down to some layer like layer 12 or whatever and then you just have a mine pretty much uh, now if you wanted to build like a little bit of a room with some furnaces and stuff in it I'm not opposed but that's how I do my mine um, I'd put a torch right here torch right here and then also on these crafting tables there that's like an excellent spot for lighting honestly it really is that's where I chose to put my lighting however you mean this this fence is kind of useless but hey it looks fancy right it looks fancy that's all that matters so we're gonna take some chests now we're gonna get into some chest storage because this build is definitely gonna need a lot especially since it is not uh, well since it's a farmhouse you'll be farming a lot of stuff so yeah sorry about that my apartment complex was calling me they're like we're so sorry because they, they sent me a notice that my apartment was really dirty because they were doing inspections right and so they were wrong because it's actually super clean I keep my place very very clean very very clean it bothers me when it's not clean and as you can see I'm just placing chests here all haphazardly I'm still used to the whole thing where you can't put them next to each other so you can do chests like this and like fill them all in but I just I don't know it still just irks me a little bit so I chose to put some chests just like this and then I'm gonna take a little bit of furnaces here and then we're just going to place those in between so this one's a little uh, Eh, you know, it, it, it's got it's got a little problem, but it, it's okay. It's okay We're actually gonna put a full block of cobblestone right here as opposed to that other one or a full block of oak I'm so sorry. It's just gonna look a little bit better. I think personally um, But yeah, that's how I did my little chest storage area There's obviously more room for chests wherever you want to put them You can even stick them on the ends here and the top one will still open I'm still getting used to that whole thing, but uh, you can also put a stair here That would help it look a little bit better. I think yeah, that makes it look miles better cool so tons of chests chest storage I know that's not tons and tons but I mean you could put something like out in front I don't really know you, you could definitely you could put chests here if you wanted to I think the goal actually was to put like chests right here that's why I had these stairs here because if you choose to put them in here you've got to break these areas and then you got to take some stairs made of cobblestone and then you just have to sort of break those out and then you have to come in here with a little bit of cobblestone and just sort of place it on the back side and then take your stone brick place it under and then you can still fit some more chests in here so there's tons of room for 
for chests, and then you could even shove a couple furnaces in there too. So something like that's cool. Um, my bed area, I chose to put over in this corner right here. So I just put one bed down. Although if you wanted to, you could put two beds down, make it a two bed house, or you can make it a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So apparently you can make this into a 38 player survival house if you wanted to, but I wouldn't recommend doing that guys. I would not put 38 bed down. Might have gotten a little carried away with that, but yeah, put a bed in the corner. It looks good. Uh, I took some fence made of spruce and I just sort of lined the front of it like that. It just makes it look like it's got a little support or something there. You could even go as t go as far as to put a bookcase here. Whatever you want to do, whatever's gonna make you happy, guys. Um, I'm an, I also would recommend coming over here and putting a fence right there just so you can't like walk into your staircase from the side Although if you want to you can you could just leave a little opening like that But I think it makes the staircase a little bit better and you could even now that I think about it put a staircase right here And then you just have like a dual entryway sort of thing And I think that's actually a little bit better than what I had previously and then you know You could always shove a furnace in right there You could put furnaces like so many spots guys You really really can't you could even put like furnaces like back there and you can still access them It's just kind of a pain Pain in the butt so maybe don't put furnaces in that spot but I did have an enchanting table in here so I'm gonna go ahead and get to that now let me grab all the stuff we're gonna need it's funny cuz when I when I said we're gonna grab all the stuff we need we already have books in the inventory so we're not gonna need much else aside from like like maybe a ladder or two and a little bit of glowstone glowstones optional of course and then optional glass that's just how I chose to light up my enchantment area although you may choose differently and that's completely okay again I don't know how many times I've said do it makes you happy this video I'm not sure people are like, oh you're Bob Ross I'm like oh maybe I wouldn't you know I wouldn't mind being Bob Ross he's he's a very very respectable guy I think at least so we're gonna come down here in the corner and we're gonna break out an area big enough for an enchantment table so just a three by three area and uh, we're gonna play some glowstone right there gonna break two blocks put glowstone at the bottom block two blocks and right here and then we're just gonna fill this in with glass now of course I chose to put bookshelves on the outside so that we have a little bit of an enchantment uh, table area you will be able to see them in your staircase so it's not the end of the world although it may bother you a little bit and I can get that but let's go check it out let's see how bothersome it really is oh no <laughs> it's not that bad it really isn't I promise and also if you're OCD like me I'd recommend taking your stone brick and just placing it you know like a couple blocks down obviously not down to like the entire floor but if you want, like, it's going to make it look a little bit better if you just have, like, that congruency and stuff. Obviously, I'd continue these stairs, like, all the way up and down. However, I'm not going to show myself going to layer 12. Not content for a video, in my opinion. But if you guys want to see me dig a staircase to layer 12, let me know in the comments. Again, if you ever want to see anything, just let me know in the comments. That way I know what to do. Because I don't always know what to record. Although this build just sort of came to me. I was like, ooh, a house and its entire roof is a farm. And I thought it was a pretty cool concept. So I went ahead and recorded it, but most of these builds guys I don't have planned So let me know in the comments what you want to see in the future and while you're down there leave me a like because uh, well If you like the house if you don't like the house don't leave a like because that'd just be silly But I'm gonna take the f uh, ceiling out a uh, set of solid blocks We're just gonna use slabs because it gives us a little bit more room to work with in here uh, Makes it feel a little bit roomier, which is always nice I'm gonna take a uh, ender chest and ender chest and then I'm also gonna take a anvil which I already have so we're gonna put the ender chest right here and then we're gonna put the anvil right here so you want to put something behind it that you can uh, not really like be I don't even know the word I was looking for you just want to put something behind it so that you don't have like a random block behind it if that makes sense so I'm gonna put a stair here and then the ender chest just verify that it opens this is definitely a full 30 no no I have to verify because I remember I, I just started this habit but yeah full 30 silk touch that is the worst thing on an axe ever but that's okay that's okay it's honestly not gonna matter too much so I'm thinking right here we have a little bit of room so let's just take some more chests and let's just put those there because I mean you're in a farmhouse you're probably gonna have a decent bit of like wheat buildup so maybe you want some more chests I'm not sure you could even go as far as to putting it right here as well but if you do that keep in mind you want to take your cobblestone and put it everywhere that you can see and yeah pretty cool you could also take a crafting table if you wanted to and like put it on the ground uh, Maybe like right here I don't know you don't want to put too many things like in the walkways but like over here for instance you could put like a little crafting table table or something and take some pressure plates that are made of spruce and put them on top um, aesthetically it looks nice and it's really not like I mean it's not gonna like impede anything so that's a good spot for that 
Um, over here in the bed area, this is looking a little sparse. Let's take some trapdoors made of spruce and let's just put those over the bed like this. And then let's actually take a stair made of spruce and place that on top instead of that. And that's going to make your bed look a little bit better, I think. Um, let's go ahead and let's put a little bit of a bedside table right here. No, you know, that's too close. We'll put a bedside table right here. Let's take a pot. So you just need some clay. And then I'm going to choose to use a blue orchid. However, you don't have to do whatever. I'm not going to say it again. If I say it again in this video, uh, I'll get myself in trouble. I'll take away my phone for 30 minutes. So I can't reply to your comments for 30 minutes. Sound fair? Yeah. Okay. So maybe right next to the bed, for instance. You want a nice little personal chest. Something that no one else besides the person sleeping there has access to. So you can put a little personal chest here. And then maybe you want an item frame on the bottom to denote that you store diamonds in here. So we'll put blocks. <laughs> yeah, put a block of diamond in there. That that's that's exactly what you should do. But that makes your bed area look nice, I think. So let me think of some more things to add into it. Oh yeah, I already know what to add. So to disregard what I just said. So these right here can't be broken, right? But we're gonna take soul sand. Hear me out, guys. We might also have to break these right here. I'm not really sure. But we're gonna take soul sand and we're just going to put four. Actually, yeah, four blocks of it right there. Um, and then we're gonna take a nether wart and we're just going to plant that there. And then I'm gonna take some spruce trapdoors and line it up. So that way you have a little bit of a brewing area. I'm gonna take a cauldron. I'm gonna place it on this side. Gonna fill it with water. And then I'm gonna grab a tripwire hook too, just to act like a little bit of a faucet. You can use a lever too. Either one's gonna work. And then maybe a little bit of a stair right here and then a brewing stand on top of that just so that you can brew your potions. Now if you want to optionally you could take an item frame and behind that brewing stand you can place it and then put a potion or for instance uh, well you can't do it actually so you could just take a potion and place that in there and just plop it just like perfect cool maybe you want this entire wall to be potions I'm not really sure but if you wanted to do it go ahead again because if I'm not gonna say it all right uh, let me think of some more things I can add because this right here is looking a little empty when in doubt about how to fill your space, the answer is always going to be armor stands. Now, you may not want to put armor stands here, and, and you know, that's okay. But I chose to put armor stands here. You know what? You know what's even better? Let's break these. Um, let's bring this over. Let me put armor stand down. Let's bring these over one. Break these. Okay, yeah, that's, that's better. And then let's just put armor stands up here, but make sure they're each facing, like, outward. Okay, so something like this. So just place it from the corner. And then I'm just going to do like random stuff. I'm not really sure. Uh, I just don't want everything to have like the same like materials on it, I guess. So I'm going to try to switch up every single one and see if I can get all of them to be different. Although I know I'm going to mess up here pretty soon. Guarantee it. Okay. This one needs leather pants, boots, and then what's different? A helmet? Yeah. Are they all different? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Are they all different? I really can't tell. Um, I think these are the same. No, I think they're all different. Yeah, okay. I should be able to tell that. I'm like an adult and I can't tell if four armor stands are all made of different armor. That's kind of sad. That's actually very sad. I'm gonna cry now. I'm just kidding. Okay, um, so that looks cool over there. Uh, one thing I did not do, which I did on the other original build, which looks completely different on the inside. Uh, originally, I was gonna copy how I did it on the other one, but I wasn't too happy with how it turned out, so I figured I could do something a little better. This one's definitely better, better than the other one. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna add carpet just here sparsely. I'm not gonna keep any sort of pattern here. I'm gonna try to make it as randomized as possible. Uh, you don't want it to be like super random, obviously, but you want it to look kind of lived in, I guess. I don't know. I think it looks good personally. You may not like it, and that's okay. You don't have to do it. Whatever's gonna... I'm just kidding. See, there's so many opportunities I could say it, but now I'm stopping myself because I know that that's not something I need to keep saying repeatedly. All right. We're gonna break out all these blocks right here. Hear me out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. What did I do? Okay, we're gonna put stairs in the corners. We're gonna take slabs. I am so angry at myself right now for doing that. All that carpet, all that time wasted. Okay, it's back. No worries, guys. We got it all back. Okay, so this block right here, I'm gonna have to just, I'm just gonna have to fill this in with just solid cobblestone. It's gonna bother me if I don't. So we broke out this area, and all we did was put uh, stairs here in the corners, and then I put some slabs up top here. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and place some slabs here. Now these blocks right here, you can actually break, which is nice, because it's gonna allow us to do something incredible. We're gonna take crafting tables, and uh, we're just gonna fill in this entire thing with crafting tables. Now you're wondering, Neo, what the heck are you doing? And honestly, guys, I don't know, but it looks cool, doesn't it, right? Like, I mean, it, it's just, you know, you can it's a wall, you can go over here and just, boop, crap, 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 like, I don't know. Maybe you don't like how it looks, and that's fine. Maybe you want to put some trap doors in the middle. I'm not sure. But it definitely fills out the space a little bit more than how it was done previously. So if you guys like this video and you want to see more like it, be sure to click that subscribe button. You get notified when I upload. Make sure to also click on that bell so you actually get notified. Because YouTube's being, well, it's just being a little weird. And honestly, it's not working too well, and that's not right. There's supposed to be a stair here. There we go. Does that look weird under here? No. And you can still open it. It actually looks better. Okay, cool. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, uh, subscribe. Uh, if you actually enjoyed this video, like genuinely enjoyed it, please leave a like because that's really going to help my channel out. It doesn't give me money or anything. You're not giving me money by liking. That would be cool. But uh, I, oh, I'm going to put an ender chest here. That, By the way, I always build when I do my outro because I'm like, oh, I, I, I could do this, make it look even better. But maybe I'll walk around and see if I can add anything else. But yeah, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. That would really help my channel out. It just actually helps with the algorithm to determine what people want to watch. So if you did like it, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. But let me know in the comments why you left a dislike so I can better cater my content to your liking in the future. But uh, yeah, I'm seeing some things here. Like, for example, put some trap doors right there. That looks cool cool uh, I'm not really sure what else to put in here I don't know but if you're curious about my shader pack texture pack any of that fancy stuff all gonna be down in the description below and I'm seeing right here if I put stairs here and I were to put for instance a cobblestone block here break these out uh, grab the bed type we have continue this now, yes I know this is technically useless but you could fit two beds in here and I don't know I mean it's not necessarily useless but now I gotta grab this bookcase again Oh my goodness, and then the stairs right here. But uh, yeah, you could fit two beds in here. Just make your bed look bigger, I guess. But hey, if you want to do it, power to you. But uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't go as far to do anything. But yeah, shader pack, texture pack, music, all that stuff's going to be down in the description below. Special thing about my channel is that if you leave a comment, I'm bound to reply. So leave a comment, and I'll be sure to talk with you in the comments. But yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get over with this intro. Thank you guys a final time for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.